of Christina and Josh, two souls destined to be together. Today, you are blessed being here together, and we know that all who could not make it here today send their blessings and best wishes. Today is truly a glorious day, as both of you are blessed with the greatest of God's gifts, the gift of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman. And how wonderful it is to get married in this beautiful setting, because these random elements which are present everywhere in the universe have gathered today in a beautiful, natural, harmonious way for us to appreciate and enjoy. Patience, fortitude, and the passage of time have made these random elements into a beautiful and natural oasis. And patience, fortitude, and the passage of time will make your marriage, your lives together, into the same. It will be a sanctuary from the outside world, protected and supported only by the goodwill of those who believe in it and love it. True love is like the ocean. It spreads itself out. It crosses all boundaries and frontiers. It is powerful like no other force of nature. It is a moving thing. It takes its shape from the shore that it meets. And it's different with every shore. Just like love is different in every marriage. The tide, the waves, the storm could come, but how strong your love is and the ability to float above the waves determines the final journey to a good relationship. Like love, the waves are never still, the water never the same, yet like love, it is always perfect just as it is. Like the waves lapping the shore, love is an ever-moving being and a place of boundless power and possibility. You started working together in December 2017. You developed a friendship first. Starting as friends allowed your relationship to grow organically, but the physical attraction was there. Around two months later, you started dating and you moved in together four months after that. You found that you connect on a deep spiritual level and your commitment to your relationship reflected just that. Some highlights of the last year and a half, including going to Thanksgiving and Christmas in Lake Worth, the Florida Keys for your niece's wedding, and Christina's family has been warm and welcoming to Joshua. Josh loves the way he feels accepted and supported. Her understanding is infinite. He loves how she cuddles up and looks at him in the eyes at night. And Christina, you show him that you love him. You don't just say it, you show it. Christina, you're driven and goal-oriented and Josh appreciates this. And Josh, Christina makes you want to be a better person. Christina, you love how trustworthy and reliable he is and how he makes you feel safe. Josh is kind and loving, helpful and generous. He is funny and playful, and you love spending time together. Your hopes and dreams for the future include owning your own home, starting a family, and maybe some dogs. <laughs> And as much as you are here today to get married, I have to ask you, Christina, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hands and your heart in marriage to Josh today? Yes. Josh, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hands and your heart in marriage to Christina today? Fine. Then I ask you now to turn towards each other and recite your vows. Christina, do you take Josh to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward? In the presence of God, do you offer your solemn vow to be his faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow? Do you promise to love him unconditionally?
to support him in his goals, to honor and respect him, to laugh with him and cry with him, and to cherish him for as long as you both shall live. Josh, do you take Christina to be your lawfully wedded wife, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward? In the presence of God, do you offer your solemn vow to be her faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow? Do you promise to love her unconditionally, to support her in her goals, to honor and respect her, to laugh with her and cry with her, and to cherish her for as long as you both shall live. In Corinthians, it is written no true words about love than any modern author ever could write. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. We have a ring exchange today. Josh, I ask you to hold Christina's ring flat in the palm of your hand. Christina, please hold Josh's ring in the palm of your hand. These rings, in their unbroken wholeness, are tokens. Tokens of your union. Tokens of your love. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, loyalty, and an inner spiritual bond. God, please bless these rings. Grant those who wear them always to have a deep faith in each other. May they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Christina, please place Josh's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband, this day and forevermore. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side and that I will always be a faithful partner to you. You may secure the ring on Josh's finger. Josh, I ask you to take Christina's ring, put it on her finger, hold it there while you repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side and that I will always be a faithful partner to you. Please secure the ring on Christina's finger. Please continue to hold hands as we offer this final blessing. As the sunlight fills the sky, may your love fill your beings. As stars break up the darkness, may you bring new light and life to each other. As the waves lap the shore, may your love be ever moving and full of life. As the wind cools our faces, let you always be refreshed by each other's presence. As the tree's roots grow deeper and more intertwined, may your lives always be deep and intertwined. As the palms sway in the wind, may your flexibility bring you strength. As the fish swim unseen, may you always keep mystery in your love. And as the sun lights up the sky, may you always light each other's hopes and dreams. 
Josh and Christina. In the presence of this universe, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>